ankles. Standing is a little bit harder, but we're going to do it standing just because we are standing and it's quite good. So we're going to start by stamping the feet. So this technique is a tapping technique. And what we're doing is we're going to give light feedback into the body to help it to relax. Okay, so we're just stamping. Got the feet stamping and when they feel like they've stamped enough, just feel them on the floor for a moment. And then we're going to start to tap the outside of the feet, up the outside of the legs, and down the middle. Up the outside of the legs, and down the middle. And remember, you're going to tap as hard as you need to do so that you are getting the feedback you want. If you can't feel it very well, tap a bit harder. Good. And then as you come up, just have a little moment to feel your legs woken up and we're going to start to tap the stomach. So if you're looking down at a clock, 12 o'clock is at the pubic bone, 6 o'clock is at the breastbone, you're going clockwise. Clockwise. Again, how hard you tap really depends on your sensitivity. So I've got parts of my stomach I can barely touch. They're so sore, so, you know, I will tap really lightly around those. But the other bits, I quite like to give it a bit more. We're going to go to the right, to the liver. Give the liver a little bit of extra here. And then we're going to go across to the spleen, which is slightly a bit further down. Good, waking that up, lovely. Then we're gonna bring the hands around to the back. Tapping the back, you can tap alternately. You can tap both together. Now, if, like me, your shoulders don't like this, you can just rub. I love the rubbing. So, rub one side, rub the other side. Whether you've been tapping or rubbing, either way, we're going to pause by bringing the hands, the warm hands to the kidneys and letting that warmth go in and take a breath. Lovely. Good. And then we're going to move to tap at the top here. Just feeling that same place that we were rubbing, now we're tapping here. Just getting a little bit of vibration. If you've got, I've got a vibration um, massage machine. If you're thinking about the Christmas presents, it's a really good one, by the way. Um, really does a fantastic job of getting things moving. Okay, so starting at the top of the shoulder, giving that shoulder a bit of extra. I'm gonna tap down the outside and up the middle. A few times. The middle, <laughs> you've got a visitor there, Paula, it's very cute. <laughs> okay, across to the other shoulder, down the outside, up the middle. Good. I'm going to do a little bit of cross tapping, so we know anything that crosses the body is good for waking us up, so why not, a little bit of there. Okay, and then we're going to come to tap into the face. Now, in, when we tap into the face and neck, it's much lighter tap. So we're going to find this point here. Just behind the ear, there's a little dip. And we're going to follow that dip down towards the clavicle. And about halfway down, there'll be a sore spot. So press a bit hard, otherwise you won't feel it. And it's like, ooh, and there's a little dip often there so like that's your pressure point once you've found it just give it a rapid tap i use two fingers and it's a bit like that massage machine it's just rapidly taking vibration therapy into that spot great if you've got thyroid issues this one i do this one a lot lovely Whew. good now like all sort of practices there comes a moment when you realize oh I've done enough so we're going to move up to the jaw joint here tapping on the jaw joint and then we're going to tap towards the chin and back chin and back 
chin and back and then we're going to come to lip and back lip and back good and then we're going to come to nose and back and nose and back three times transferring to the temples you often do a lot of temple work here we, we're quite used to stimulating these points but there's so many across the face we're going to come across the brow and back three times and then on the fourth time we're going to turn our fingers and we're going to go up over the top of the head which with a christmas hat isn't helpful <laughs> back then uh, when you get to the nape you're going to divide in two tap down the back of the nape of the neck and back round to the temple okay, via the jaw to the temple and then we go again center turn all fingers tapping all the way around the nape of the neck likes a little bit of extra so give it a bit of time jaw back to the temple last one so there might be really nice areas that you want to stay tapping for a minute and that's okay. Whatever feels good. And then we're going to come back to the jaw. And at that point, we're just going to stand for a moment and just notice how the body feels. Take a breath. Now, if you had done that lying down or in a chair, it'd be quite easy now that you think to just go, oh, I'm just going to relax for a minute. Just for a five minutes and have that little downtime, okay?